Hi there, Bon Crowder with Math4.com here. In response to a, qu a question I got on Twitter from Mr. Love314, I really like that Twitter handle. Mr. Love314, like how um, I love pie. Mmm, cherry pie. Anyway, the question was why is it that when we use the law of signs, we sometimes get a false angle or the wrong answer? So I thought about it a little bit, and the reason, the bottom line reason, is that the arc sign is not a function, and the calculator doesn't know what you want, and so it just returns the best answer. So let's look at one. Here I have um, a triangle, and I've designated theta as obtuse, and I'm making this kind of simple so that we can just see what's going on. Using the law of signs, I know sine theta over 2 is sine 25 over 1. So I can see that the sine of theta is going to be 2 sine of 25 degrees. Now obviously I'm skipping some minor steps, but I want to get to the meat. So using the handy dandy calculator from 1983, I have the sine of 25 degrees times 2 is roughly 0.8, so 0.845-ish is the sine of theta. Now, what I'm going to do is the arc sine of 0.845-ish to figure out what the actual theta is. Here's the deal, though. If we look at the sine wave, here is 1, so here is 0.845-ish which means I could get this answer or this answer. Here, let me use a different color. This answer or 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 this answer. And the sweet little calculator doesn't know which one to pick. We know as human beings that our answer has to be in this segment right here because it's between 0 and 180 degrees, or 0 and pi. So we know it's one of these two, and since it's an obtuse angle, I also know that it has to be between these two, right, in this segment, right? So I know that it has to be that one. I just want to know what that actual number is. The sweet calculator doesn't know that. All it knows is that you're asking for this bit, you're giving it this bit, and you want one of all of these. And guess how many of those are? A bazillion. So the calculator just picks the one that's the most likely answer, which it's been programmed to pick this one. And you want this one. So let's do the arc sign here. Arc sign, so we get about 58. So we say theta is 58 degrees-ish. But oh my gosh, that's not true. Theta is really 180 difference from that. So it's about 122 degrees-ish. So the reason why you get the wrong answer is because the sweet calculator doesn't know what you really want. So you have to take what it gives you and still do yet another step. The black box, as cute and wonderful as it is, is not the end all and be all. So that's why when you do the law of signs, sometimes you get the wrong answer. So you got to be careful of that. This is Bon Crowder with Math4.com reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.